Hey guys, this is your Tusty Brother for Cast, and today we're going to be talking about what will likely be a very catastrophic hurricane for the United States. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe button. 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button for like whether or not the content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Let's get right into this. Hurricane Ida is strengthening and forecasts to rapidly strengthen into a Category 4 major hurricane. A Category 5 is not out of question. There are hurricane warnings in effect for Louisiana, including New Orleans and in Cuba. Tropical storm warnings are in effect in portions of Mississippi and Louisiana. And it is likely to strike Louisiana around the 26th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Everybody that lives in the impacted areas, especially in the red here with hurricane warnings, should heed all evacuation orders. If you are told to evacuate, do it. If it's optional, I'd still highly advise to do it if you're financially able to, because New Orleans, and especially southern Louisiana, is a very vulnerable area for hurricanes because a lot of this is below sea level already. So any storm surge will really wipe out lots of people's homes, and it will probably end up killing people. But you can prevent any kind of deaths if you evacuate and listen to the proper authorities. The rainfall forecast is extremely high. Pink and red regions are 10 to 20 inches plus of rainfall. Widespread flash flooding is likely, and along with storm surge in the coastal areas, there will be towns, whole cities and towns, completely underwater up to people's roofs. Peak storm surge, 10 to 15 feet, 7 to 11 feet. The main core areas is between Morgan City, mouth of the Mississippi River, that's where that 10 to 15 feet is, and the 7 to 11 feet is just east of the New Orleans area. These are current paths the system could take. You can see it's kind of narrowed down a little bit. It is a little questionable whether it will go in eastern Louisiana or more towards western Louisiana. Regardless, major impacts are likely as the system rapidly intensifies. This is intensity guidance for that system. You can see most models have it becoming a Category 4 hurricane, which the National Hurricane Center expects. A Category 5 is not out of question, though it's unlikely, but it's not out of the question. Because originally, in my last video, some models only had it becoming a Category 2. And when you look at it now, it's going to become a Category 4. Uh, so, a Category 5, not out of question. That's just, just a weather forecast for Hurricane Ida. Make sure to evacuate if you are told to do so, and listen to all the proper authorities that give you directions, and make sure you stay safe from the system if you live in areas, more vulnerable areas of Louisiana that may get pretty nailed by this storm, with wind gusts exceeding 140 miles per hour. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment if you want. Goodbye.